What's up, C Squad? Oh, it's Nigel C. And Daddy C. I'm Daddy Son. Kick Talk. Today we're Kick Talking about. About the new ballot. Ame Leon Dior, also known as ALD 550 in the brown white colorway. Yeah. All right, so this is a new offering from ALD and New Balance, a dope drop that just happened recently. But before we get into the shoe, Nigel, if it's their first time here, what should they do? You need to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because you know you want to get it ringing because you know that we always sing it and you know you want to hear the noise. So, all right, get it. Get that. Get that. And if you've been here before, yeah. thanks for coming back. We appreciate the love and support mm -hmm. and vibing with our content. And now yeah. that that's all out of the way, here we go, man, into the shoe. With the ALDs. With the ALD, right? So we don't do a lot of New Balance. I don't have a lot of New Balance in my collection. Mm -hmm. I do have a couple of pairs. I have the, I wanted a protection pack, running shoes, the 20, what was it, 2002R, yeah. as well as a different colorway of this New Balance 550 ALD. This is a pair supplied from one of the squad, my guy Wes, he's local, found me on Instagram, YouTube, we've been connected. It's great, you know, just having some local sneakerheads and He's right. like big into picking up a lot of nice things. So let me borrow these for the collection. I mean, for well, for content, not for the collection. For the collection. He's an 11 and a half, uh -oh. I'm an 11. So <laughs> I'm not stealing your shoes, bro. You will get these back. <laughs> so ALD, right? So we got the box. This is the, the box that's similar, exact same as the one we've covered before in a previous episode. So go back and check out that video if you didn't see it. And then we can talk about the shoe talk. At first glance, I mean, you know, overall heat, heat, man. I mean, a good, I think a good fall entry, right? Something for the mm -hmm. colder weather. Yeah. I definitely don't see, wouldn't see myself rocking this in the summertime, like the eighties and nineties with like yeah. heavy suede. However, there's a lot of mesh in here as well. Wow. So you look at that shoe, you can get a quick visual. And the suede really beats your feet up. Yeah. The mesh kind of cools it down. Right. You got suede like all around the body of this shoe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a lot of mesh, right? To let that shoe just be breathable. Yeah, that's good. It definitely is uh, like uh, put on some layers with this though. Right. In the cold weather, you know. Right. A, a hoodie, you know, maybe some cargos or whatever, some khakis. Maybe some browns. Definitely some browns. Yeah. Some browns <laughs> and some creams. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but overall, I mean, it's a very clean shoe, very clean shoe. Mm -hmm. And it, compared to the shoe that I have, which is a leather variety, right? So this is the white version of this same, but it's more leather all around. They gave us some antiquing mm -hmm. and then Suede on the heel of the shoe and on the New Balance logo. So yeah, big difference between the two. And these are the Amele on doors, right? Yeah. It's a big difference, because look at the back. I just peeped this. Yeah. This one doesn't even have a logo in the back. I know, they kind of played me on my pair. Mine was like that, the first <laughs> release that they did. Uh -huh. And now on the new releases, they've got the ALD logo on one and the New yeah. Balance on the other. Yeah, so, they did uh, get the updates on these. Yeah, they kind of upgraded <laughs> them a little bit. Yeah. But they actually did a, an all suede version that they dropped when these came out, but I opted for the leather version. Mm -hmm. Kind of wish I could go back and, and get the suede version personally. No, but I like it though. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is definitely, I could definitely rock more in the summer. It's not That's as right. much of not a fall shoe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But anyway, back to this shoe, man. I think, you know, it's just an overall a nice entry and just some history on the New Balance 550. I know we initially did our first uh, first review of the white pair. You know, I said that the New Balance 550 was New Balance's original basketball shoe. And then I wasn't 100% sure if it was like tennis as well. Mm. We had that conversation. So I did do a little more research. The 550 was New Balance's basketball entry into footwear. Mm. So this was like 1989, designed by a guy named Stephen Smith. And he was there when New Balance was like new and early early into basketball. He later went on to design. Steven Smith? Not any oh. Steven Smith that you know. I'm thinking Stephen A. Smith. No, not him. Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> no, not him. He's a journalist. All right, not Steve Smith, the football player, right. or Steve Smith, the former basketball player. This is a different guy. It's, that's just such a common name. The other one. Yeah, <laughs> but this Steven Smith designed this. He moved on later to design the Reebok Pump. There, he does. He designed actually did some design with Yeezy with some of their newer stuff or uh -huh. well older stuff, and also for Nike too. The Spit Iron is a different model that he designed. So he's worked in different companies. What's crazy to me is that you said that y'all was hooping in these back in the day. I wasn't. People were. 
like actually as a basketball shoe. Yeah, yeah. It's so crazy how we like wearing regular shoes now and it's not considered that at all. Yeah, it's just like for the fashion element. Right. Nobody's balling in these right. at all, right? These are strictly as like a fashion statement. You think folks can be wearing LeBrons in like 20 some years? Like a LeBron like retro? regular type shoe casual wear? I mean, it could happen for sure. I mean, you think about Jordan's, like Jordan had its, you know, his reign, like as he, you know, all of the, the originals as they drop mm -hmm. people were wearing them i don't know though people weren't that heavily way more stronger culturally though people weren't heavily jordan. playing in jordans though like back in yeah. the like 80s 90s they were they still were like fashion still regularly yeah they yeah. were still like a fashion shoe mm -hmm. but yeah i so mean then basketball shoes have become more specifically made for basketball so right better now for basketball the technology just put into it right. yeah for sure like so if you buy like a current air jordan whatever they up to now 38 39 mm -hmm. it's got all the tech built all into the, it but it's strictly for on the court the air, Right, you yeah. see some of the player exclusives like Jason Tatum, Luka Doncic. They have like their Jordan brand yeah. PE shoe. It's mm -hmm. got everything and it's made for the court. Right. And nobody's wearing that casually, like with some sweats on the Saturday. Cause you can't, but this is like kind of hard anyway. Yeah, I yeah. would wear these. And they have they came, you know, this low top, but they also have like a high top version. I think mm. in the '80s, the high top version was probably more prevalent for basketball. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, that's the the you know just some little history on New Balance. Teddy Santis, of course, of Ame Leon Door, mm -hmm. ALD, you know, kind of brought these back in 20, what, 21, 22? You know, just kind of looking through some of New Balance's old silhouettes, and he's came, he, you know, brought them back, man. So the 550 has been pretty strong for the last couple of years. The regular GRs that aren't related to ALD, but then also these special editions that they brought out. Different colors, different materials, and everything else. So yeah, man, clean pair of shoes. Really? What do you think from a rating standpoint, one to 10, what's, what kind of scale are you giving it? Um, I'm looking at it, I like all the details. It really is like, you know, it's putting together a whole lot of pieces, lots of different materials, mm -hmm. lots of layers to it. I love that. Mm -hmm. On a one to 10 scale. Yeah. Oh, by the way, it also comes with another pair of laces as yeah. well. Yeah, couple pair, actually. Couple pair you of laces. You got one. Oh, and it's like, it's a, like a little bit darker. You got like a sale clean color. Yeah. And I have like this light tan color. So you can go from white to tan. They have white in them. Yeah. Yeah. And then we so, got the, this is the ortholite insole. Did it come with that little ortholite? Yeah, it's the type of insole that's in here. Like the pair I have has this little tag on it. I thought this pair did as well. Oh. So yeah, ortholite. Oh, yes. Yeah, this has it too. Oh. Comfort foam insoles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's got the work of light. I guess it's a little like squishy. Yeah, it's good stuff. In the back. One to ten? Yeah. I'm gonna give these a nine. Ooh. A nine. I'm gonna give them a nine. Nigel, you're feeling the new balance. I'm feeling the newbies. I'm shocked. I'm loving them, bro. Yeah? Yeah, man. They are a, a fresh pair for sure. I gotta appreciate art, man. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Not yeah. that I would wear these, cop these, but man, if I had the right fit, I probably would. Probably would rock these if I had the right fit, to be honest, bro. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they're definitely a fresh, fresh pair to rock, man. Mm -hmm. And you said nine? Yeah. I probably, I mean, I think, yeah, eight, eight point five. I mean, they wouldn't be. So I'm feeling them more than you? Maybe a little bit. I do, I mean, I'm telling you, I love the overall suede. I love mm -hmm. the mesh. Yeah. yeah, a lot of mesh panels around the shoe, the collar of the shoe. What's wrong with it? Little all? tags in here. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with them. All right, mm -hmm. you know what? I'll give it a nine too. Yeah, I'll give it a nine too. Nine out of ten. I like the materials, mm -hmm. the sole. This is like the the sole is like as solid as I don't know what. I mean, it's like concrete. It's a very solid rubber yeah, sole. Yes, definitely is. And you've got like uh, you know they talked about in the design information I was reading how they have these little pivot circles here. So these are made, you know, obviously when you're playing ball, you can pivot when you cut in and, <laughs> and, and slash into the basket and all. That's tough. Yeah, exactly. Yo, they should make them so like, when you turn, when you pivot, uh -oh. the circle moves. <laughs> so then like, the pivot is like, it's clean. Actually, the shoe is actually moving? The like shoe, the, yeah. Is so like, a pivot the circle, point? nah, the circle stays put. I got you. Move around, you know what I'm saying? But the shoe turns. Right. Next, we're going to want to put like wheels on them or something, man. Oh, man. If it helps, <laughs> why not? I don't know. <laughs> so a little pivot circle under there. I'm just saying, bro. It might help. Who knows? <laughs> you know, we get people, sometimes we get comments talking about Nigel's ideas. 
So I think somebody out there need to make a list for Nigel and all the ideas he keeps coming up with for shoes, because somebody might adopt one of these. Hey, man. And we're going to need to come back, and they're going to have to come see us. Yeah, those are my ideas. So I'm going to need some copyrights for all of those. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to do something to make a list of all the ideas you mm -hmm. keep coming up with. Mm -hmm. But you never know. Some of that technology, Nigel, might make it into some shoes, man, based what on saying, what you're saying. Man. Especially looking at shoes from the 80s to today. Yeah. Somebody was like, let's put some air in these. I know, right? Somebody was like, let's put a pillow inside of the shoe to make it comfier. Yeah, so imagine how crazy that was to the boardroom, right? Exactly. The design team. Like, right. what? Right. Put actual air inside the shoe? Right. How's that going to work? Right. Springs? <laughs> right. Shocks? We had shocks. Right. You know, like all those types of things. Yeah. So you never know where the design may take you. Always cook. But anyway, don't pair shoes. We like it. Yep. Let us know in the comments how you're feeling about them if you cop the pair. And hit us on Instagram, at Real Daddy C. Make sure you follow, sub, all those types of things. All of that. We'll see you on the next one, y'all. Peace.